Hey guys, in this video we are gonna see how to upload your PHP MySQL website to internet for free. Yes it's possible, you can host your website with database for free. This is a sample website, created using HTML, CSS, PHP, and MySQL. I'm gonna host this website live for free, while demonstrating you all. Let me show you this website first. Let's sign in, Harry123, and password123. Account created successfully. Now let's check the database. Yeah, the username Harry123 and password123 is stored inside the database. Now let's see, how to put this site on internet for free, so that we could be able to share it across the globe. And guess what, you will find link to this website below in the description box, as a proof that it's live, and hosted successfully. So without any further ado, let's get started. Firstly, open any browser and search for triple zero web host. You can also find link to this website in the description box below. Once you open this website, click on get started. Then select the free sign up option. Here enter your valid email address and password and press the sign up button. Then complete the security check. And you will be redirected to this page where it says to verify your email address. So open your email in a new tab and click on the verification link over here. It will take some time to load, but finally it displays that email is verified. Now click on Get Started. And you will be redirected to this page. Here select the other option. And this page will appear. Here you have to enter your website's name. In my case, it's my mini project 2021. And leave everything else as it is and click on Submit button. That's it, now close everything and once again open the same website, triple zero web host. And this time click on sign in. Here you will find the website that you just created. Now click on manage website. This is your website's dashboard. Here click on Tools. Now click on File Manager. Then click on Upload Files. You will be taken to the File Manager once you click on Upload Files. Here double click on Public HTML Folder. Then click on the upload icon on the top right corner. Now click on select files. Now browse and select all the files that are needed for this project. And click on open. Then click on upload and your files will start uploading. After uploading all the files, right click on your home file or index file, in my case it's signup.php, so I'll right click on signup.php and click on view. Here our website is hosted live, but we haven't connected our database yet, so it'll show error. Now let's connect this website to database. 
So, in order to connect database, come back to your website's dashboard. Now click on Database Manager over here. Once you click on Database Manager, this page will appear. Here click on New Database. Now enter whatever database name and username you want. And click on Show Password. Then open Notepad. And copy the password. And paste it inside the Notepad. Now click on Create. Here it'll take some time to create database. Once the database is created, click on Manage and select PHP My Admin. Here we'll click on our database. Now we have to create the same table with same names as we created earlier on our PHP My Admin from XAMPP. This is our users table from XAMPP PHP My Admin, and now I will create exact same table inside websites PHP My Admin. Ok, so we have created our users table successfully. Similarly you have to create your table. After creating a table, open file manager once again, and here we will edit our connection code. So open the file which contains your connection code in PHP. In my case, it's connection.php. So I'll double click on connection.php. Here we have to replace database name, username and password with websites database. So copy database name from here and paste inside your code. Now host name is already localhost so we do not need to change it, but if your host name is different then make sure you change it. Now let's change the username. Copy the DB user from here and paste it inside your code. Now open the notepad and copy that password and paste it inside your code. And also change the database name over here. That's it, click on save and close. And your database is now connected. Open your website by right clicking on its home page and select view. Now, let's try to sign up. Boom, account created successfully. Now let's check our database. Refresh it. And yeah, it's updated. Which means our database is linked to our site. You can share the URL of this website. Doesn't matter wherever the person is, if he or she has access to internet they will be able to open and use your website. And that's how you upload your website live.